everybody. It's me, the Dean, from the Dean 13 channel. Hope everybody's fine, well in health, and with somebody that you're happy with, safe with, and long life. Okay, hot topic. What is it? The drug testing on Noosa. Pretty amazing. No, not really. I mean, didn't we know that it was all going to come to this, basically? I mean, we look at it, society on a whole should be thankful in lots of ways for the government doing this. And why? Is because it's all out of control. A lot of people are now addicted to either some substance or another. And now it's gotten so out of control in society, it's now affecting the whole of society and if you don't look at it like that you you'd be scratching your head and think you're kidding aren't you it does i mean from everything so i don't know my opinion on what the government's doing is a really good thing um and i have another opinion about the card that they're trying to introduce i don't agree with that uh, basically because it does humiliate people to an extent um, especially the older generation um, and you tend to think that you've lost a little bit of your, your, your freedom of choice what you want to do and you're accountable for that mm. and because they do I mean you have your requirements when you're on Centrelink and your payments to do what you've got to do to keep them so that I don't agree with, um, but the government is once again trying to roll something like that out. But one thing I do agree with is this drug testing. I think that's a good thing because, you know, um, if they can, um, and as they, the government said, they were going to introduce, you know, the first time, you know, it's a, a count out, the second time, uh, the third time it's rehab, but the government's got to follow through with the rehab they can't just say rehab rehab for an individual takes two years two full years before anybody can see a real sign of that person coming around to a normal person I mean it doesn't happen overnight so the government can take that on board for every individual that is affected by some form of substance abuse well, that's a good thing, but, you know, it's a long road ahead. They can't just say, oh, it's rehab, what? What sort of rehab are they going to try and introduce? So, I mean, it's got to be a full rehab, two years for an individual. And they've got to be, have support, they've got to be maintained, they've got to be supervised, they've got to go through the hard times. I mean, you know, and if the government thinks that this substance abuse and then they're going to be off the centre link and cut their payments off, well, that's no use to anybody either. That's just going to lead to a lot of suicide. And, and I believe a lot of people will actually freak out about this and a lot of suicides will come on board if the government's not careful. So they really want to tread quite carefully. But one thing I do agree with is this drug testing. I mean, if you've gotten up in the hide, you've gotten up in the hide, you know, as one would say. So, but for the younger generation, they're lost. And I've said that before on my YouTubes, they're lost. And it's through the drugs. And it is. So if we can do that and work in with the other organisations, I think that's a very, very good thing. Anyway, that's just what I thought I'd put out there. A little thought you guys and my opinion um look if you want to give me a like that way i know that you know you like what i've said um but anyway until next time from the dean from the dean 13 general as i said what's the four codes everybody come on respect dignity and honor and integrity they'll serve you well they will so and until next time look after yourself be with somebody that makes you happy, you know, um, long life. And until then, from the Dean, from the Dean 13 channel. Bye, everybody.